Welcome to physics tutorial based on motion. In this tutorial, we are going to look at two examples, um, both dealing with acceleration. So we're going to look at both acceleration equations for physics here. So the first thing we do in any problem is we identify what we know. So for this first question, uh, we have what is the acceleration of a car if it takes two seconds to stop if it was initially traveling at 12 meters per second? I see a few things here. I see two seconds. I also see this keyword, stop. I see 12 meters per second. And uh, what is the acceleration? So I'm going to write these things down. Um, what is the acceleration? That is a question. I have two seconds. I have 12 meters per second. I'm going to ignore that word stop for a second. So um, what is the acceleration? That's my question mark. Acceleration, obviously, is the question. Two seconds, that is a time. If you can't remember that's a time, you can use the chart in the front of your notebook. And we have 12 meters per second, which is a velocity. Um, you will know that we have two velocities. We have an initial and a final. And I need to figure out which velocity this is. But if I look at the question again, it says initially. So it's starting to travel at 12 meters per second. So because I know that, I know this is my VI. Oops, let's change the color on that. Uh, red. There we go. All right. Um, I also said I have this word stop, which I highlighted. And um, stop, if it's coming to a stop, that is telling me, oops, I did it again. That is telling me my final velocity. The car is coming to a stop. It's ending at a stop. And how fast is it going at the end? Well, it's at a stop. It's zero. So now, given this information, um, I have only one equation that will fit. And it is that one. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to plug in my numbers right underneath. Like so. And now it turns into a regular math problem. I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. And um, so I have negative 12 equals a times 2. I can divide both sides by 2. And I get a equals negative 6. I do need units. So the units of acceleration, once again, I can look at the chart. If I don't remember, they are meters per second squared. All right. Um, we can also kind of think about this rationally. And um, if we think about that the car is traveling, it's moving, and then the car slows down and stops. So we know the acceleration should be negative. And you can see, sure enough, our answer, it is negative. Let's take a look at one more example. In this example, we have a boat traveling at 10 meters per second. It speeds up for four seconds, covering 64 meters. And we're trying to find the acceleration. So first off, um, we have 10 meters per second. We have four seconds. 64 meters, that's all stuff we want or need. And I see a question here. What is the acceleration? So let's write this stuff down. 10 meters per second. Four seconds. 64 meters. And my question. So once again, looking at the chart, if you don't know, meters per second, that is a velocity. Seconds is a time. 64 meters, meters is a distance, and the question is, what is my acceleration? And remember, anytime I put a velocity down, I need to figure out or think about, is this starting or ending, initial or final? And in this one, the boat is already moving at 10 meters per second. So at the start of the problem, the boat's moving at that speed, so it's, that's my initial. All right, so I look up at the wall. I see only one equation that fits all of these, and it is this guy. So 
so I'm going to use it. So I have 64 equals 10 times 4 plus 1 half A times 4 squared. So now I have a straight math problem. I'm just going to take it step by step. I have 16. All right. Oops. I have got an equal sign. Equals 40 plus. And uh, here I have 1 half times 8 times 16. And multiplication, it doesn't matter which order you multiply numbers. Uh, 2 times 3 times 1 is the same as 1 times 2 times 3. It's the same as 3 times 1 times 2. It doesn't matter the order. So I'm going to use that, and instead of doing half of A, I'm going to do half of 16. So half of 16 is 8, and I still have that A there. All right. Um, I see two numbers here. They are like terms. They're both numbers. So I'm going to combine them. I'm going to subtract 40 from both sides. And I get 24 equals 8a. Divide both sides by 8. And I get 3. Oops. Let's get my eraser. 3, ah, and again, 3 equals A, and I need units here. Because it's an acceleration, it's going to be meters per second squared. 3 meters per second squared. All right, I hope you learned something in this video. If you still have questions, watch it over again, or ask me for help at any time, and I'll try to clear up any problems that you may, might have. Thank you very much for watching.